get ready because we are diving deep into self-worth today. We're taking a look at this course you guys have been asking about. And let me tell you, it's got some seriously fascinating stuff in it. I'm excited to break it down with you. Definitely fascinating stuff. We're going way deeper than just like your average self-help tips here. This is the kind of stuff that makes you think differently. Oh, absolutely. And speaking of different, did you see that stat about energy psychology? 98% efficacy rate for things like PTSD and anxiety and depression. Hard to ignore a statistic like that, right? Seriously. So how does it work? How does this energy psychology thing even like play into all of this? Well, it all starts with this idea that our bodies, they hold on to energy, especially emotional energy, even stuff from way back when. So it's like our bodies have a memory, mm. like not just our minds. We're carrying around all this old baggage. Kind of, yeah. It's like, remember learning about meridians and chakras, all those energy systems? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember that vaguely. Well, those systems can get blocked. Or out of whack, you yeah. know, <laughs> especially by negative experiences. Okay, so those negative experiences kind of mess with our energy flow. Exactly. And where does that energy go? It gets stuck. And that stuck energy can show up in all kinds of ways, low self-esteem, anxiety, even physical problems sometimes. Wow. Okay, I'm starting to see the connection here. Mm -hmm. How does this course actually address all that? So it gets into this really interesting theory called the polyvagal theory. Polyvagal theory. It's about how our nervous system reacts to the world. Like, imagine the spectrum, right? On one end, you've got that calm, safe, and connected feeling. Yeah, on the other end. Total fight or flight mode. Oh, I know that feeling all too well. Right, everyone does. But when we have all this stored up negative energy, it's like, our nervous system gets stuck. Like it's always braced for that next bad thing, even if it's not actually happening. And that just keeps us feeling stressed and on edge all the time. Exactly. Which, you know, not exactly the best recipe for good self-worth. Definitely not. Uh, so basically we're dealing with all these ingrained patterns that are messing with how we see ourselves. And how we experience the world around us. And that's where the real work begins. Okay, this is getting good. So how do we actually start to shift those patterns and boost our self-worth. That's what I want to know. Well, that's where this course really shines. It's got some really practical techniques, stuff you can actually start doing today to make a difference. Okay, so practical techniques. Lay it on me. What's the magic formula? Well, there's no magic formula, unfortunately. But there are some really effective tools. One that I found really interesting was this idea of, uh, get this, a talent survey. A talent survey. What's that? It's all about, like, shifting your focus. Instead of looking at what you think you're lacking, you take stock of your strengths, your skills, your passions, the things you're naturally good at. Okay, so, like, what am I good at? I'm good at talking, okay, clearly. Well. And this is about owning that, recognizing those skills and talents you already have. I like it. So it's kind of like giving ourselves permission to be awesome. Exactly. Yeah, so and on that note, you know what else this course talks about? Gratitude. Like journaling about what you appreciate about yourself. Ooh. I've done gratitude journaling before, but I usually focus on, like, external stuff. You know, like yeah. a pretty sunset or a good cup of coffee. It can be tough to direct that gratitude inward, right? Yeah, a little bit. But this course makes a good point. Like, if you want real self-worth, self-appreciation is key. And there's some cool science to back it up, too. Did you know that practicing gratitude can actually change your brain? No way, really. Like, physically change your brain. For real. It's called neuroplasticity. Right. Basically, you're rewiring your brain to be more positive. Okay, so it's not just about feeling good in the moment. It's about actually changing how our brains work. Exactly. If you focus on your flaws all the time, well, your brain gets really good at finding flaws. But if you're searching for things to appreciate about yourself, your brain starts to focus on the positive. It's like we're training our minds to see the good stuff, even in ourselves. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So what else does the course suggest? How do we create this, like, positive mindset shift? Well, they talk a lot about surrounding yourself with the right people creating what they call a support squad, people who lift you up, you know, who celebrate your wins. Yeah, because those negative people, they can really bring you down. Totally. It's like their negativity is contagious. And this course is all about making a conscious choice. Choose to be around people who energize you, who inspire you. People who, like, reflect back your awesomeness. I love that. Right. It's about creating that positive feedback loop. The more support you have, the more you start to believe in yourself. Okay, so we've got our talent survey, our gratitude practice, and our awesome support squad. Anything else we should be doing to, like, really solidify that sense of self-worth? Oh, yeah. One more thing. Celebrate your accomplishments. And I mean, like, 
really celebrate them. Even the small ones. Especially the small ones. It's so easy to just brush them off, you know. But celebrating those wins, it reminds you that you're capable, that you can achieve your goals. It's like giving yourself a pat on the back. You deserve it. Exactly. And that feeling that I can do this feeling, that's what real self-worth is all about. All right. So we've covered a lot of ground here, but I want to circle back to that energy psychology stuff, mm-hmm. especially EFT, that tapping technique. It seems kind of like out there. Like, how does tapping on certain spots actually do anything? Yeah, I get it. It can seem kind of strange if you've never tried it, but it's actually really simple. Basically, you're tapping on specific meridian points. While you're focusing on the negative thought or feeling you want to work on. So instead of avoiding those negative thoughts, we're like going right at them. Exactly. It's about acknowledging those feelings, not trying to push them down. Think of this way. Those memories, those beliefs, they have energy, right? Okay. Yeah, I can see that. And that energy can get stuck. So by tapping on these points while we focus on those feelings, we're helping to release that stuck energy. Huh. So it's almost like those emotions are like trapped inside. And tapping helps them come to the surface. That's a good way to put it. The course uses this analogy of peeling back the layers of an onion. You might not release everything all at once. It's a process. Right. It takes time. Exactly. And that's why the course suggests keeping a journal. A journal. Yeah. Write down those negative thoughts when they come up. It helps you see the patterns. Oh, that's a good idea. Because sometimes those thoughts just kind of swirl around in your head. Mm, Totally. And once you see them written down, you can start to dig a little deeper, you know, like where are these thoughts coming from? What experiences might be feeding into them? It's like detective work. We're getting to the root of the problem. Exactly. And that's where EFT comes in. It can help you release the emotional charge from those past experiences. So we can finally let go of that old baggage, huh? Exactly. And when you do that, you create space for new, more empowering beliefs about yourself. This is all starting to make so much sense now. Mm -hmm. So we're not striving for perfection here, right? We're just trying to feel a little bit better every day. Exactly. It's about progress, not perfection. Right. Small steps, big changes. Well, this has been amazing. Thank you so much for breaking all of this down for us. My pleasure. Glad we could dive into it. And to all of you listening, remember to be kind to yourself. Celebrate those small wins. And keep exploring those tools and techniques that resonate with you. Until next time, everyone, take care.